Hey guys, it's Matt Greer here. I am out at the neighborhood by DR Horton called Zanjaro, and it's a pretty cool neighborhood. I'm in front of the Dove model, which is a three bed. It can be a four bed. It's a two bath, but this is, you know, a great home, especially if it's a starter. It's in that 420 to 430s range. I mean, these three bed, two baths are what make America. It's where a lot of people start out in, and this neighborhood is great. It's located near a lot of things. You're about 20 minutes away from Westgate, 30 minutes from the Peoria Sports Complex. There's a brand new Safeway down the road. You got Luke Air Force Base, uh, not too far from here, as well as there's gonna be an American Leadership Academy, or actually, there already is an American Leadership Academy right next door, which is an amazing school. Uh, they do great, love them. So we're gonna go ahead and tour this model. It's the Dove, it's 1,611 square feet. So let's check it out. All right. So, see, you got the garage right there. It is a two-car tandem, uh, so pretty good size. And we're gonna go ahead and go right on in. I really like this entryway with the stone. It looks great. And I think you'll notice this no-step entry. So, if you have wheelchairs, all you have is that threshold to get over. You don't have a whole step that you have to go up. Now this one, like I said, would be a great starter home. You know, I know prices have gone crazy in the past few years, so 420, 430 might seem like a lot, but fortunately that's just the world we live in right now. So you come into this first bedroom and you got the closet right there. And this model, they just finished with it. I mean, you can see this builder called me out here to check it out. They just finished, I mean, those still have the dust guards on them, which is fine. I'm actually happy to be in here first. Um, they're still working on just a few things. I mean, you'll notice a few of these little noodles coming out of the roof. That's just wiring they have to finish off. But otherwise, you can really see what this home has to offer. You got this room. Closet, so it's just a mirror of that room right over there. Of course, being a model, they've put some upgrades like this wall right here. That wood paneling looks great. I also like how when you come in, there's a little bit of like a sectioning off of things. You've got this area and right up here, you've got this bathroom. Got the nice tub shower combo, toilet over there with the linen closet. It's actually smart you put the toilet paper right there. I like that. <laughs> um, you got this sink, nice vanity, big mirror, see your favorite agent. Let's go on. Okay, you come, you start to get into the home. All right, you can see right here, this is where it's open. But then you've got this big pantry slash laundry room. I really like that. I think that's actually a pretty good use of the space. Do laundry right here, and you still have a walk-in pantry at 1,611 square feet. That's actually pretty impressive. Right across the way, you've got another closet. Okay, that's your coat closet. Then you come in to the living room slash kitchen. Very open, like that. I like this nook over here. Decorated it beautifully. Good job. Okay, you've got the living area over there. Right here, you've got your kitchen. Nice kitchen. Now, one thing that I like about this model, normally in models, they always put their, their best foot forward, but they actually, put laminate countertops in here, okay? I like that they did that. Just because this home, like I said, it's a starter home. Laminate's a pretty good way to go. It can save you some money. But of course, if you want, you can get quartz. Personally, I like quartz. I'd pay a little bit extra just to get it because it will last longer. But if not, this laminate's still pretty nice. I like it. Okay, you got the fridge over here. Got this little spot right there with my price sheet laying down. I like how they have the lighting underneath all the cabinets. 
And then of course you got the actual walk-in pantry in the kitchen. So really, I pointed out how the laundry room has those shelves for a pantry. You don't have to use it for that. You can use it for whatever because you've got a pantry here in the kitchen. I like this island with the sink, dishwasher right next to it, an electric range, built-in microwave. Like this would be a great home to start out in. Or if you know, you're coming from a condo or a town home, this would be a great step up as well. So right over here, we have the master bedroom. I always like it when they've got this kind of dog leg, like you go in and then turn. Just gives you that extra bit of privacy. You want that. So you come on in. This is a good size room. All right, plenty of space. from over here so you can see from the door to here it's actually pretty good distance in size got the bed right there and then across from here you've got your bathroom this master bathrooms pretty nice well laid out okay off here to the left you've got your water closet and right here next to it you've got the sink nice vanity shower right there it's actually a pretty decent sized shower. I like it. And then you've got this nice deep linen closet. I like it when you can actually walk into them like this, just because, I don't know, sometimes when the shelves are up close, you just can't store as much. Like you can't store as much on the floor. I like that. Big mirror to see your favorite agent. Don't forget to call. Happy to show these to you. And then you've got this walk-in closet right here at the end. Really like that. It's got its own lighting in here, as you can see. The other thing I like is it's got a vent for the air conditioner. That is actually pretty important because when you've got a corridor like this, right? This is the end of the corridor. You want air to be coming in here because it will get the cool air in. It will push it through the rest of the house. So even that small vent does a pretty good job. And after living in Arizona for a while, you start to catch on to what type of air conditioning might have works. As well as you'll notice right here, that is one of those thermostat sensors. It's like a second thermostat because you've got that one in here sensing what this room needs. So you can pump more air over here because the main thermostat for the house is right over in there. So it's nice. You've got a long house like this to have that separate thermostat. Now, when we come out to the backyard, I want to show you this. This yard's pretty decent size. It's a model, so I imagine it's one of the bigger ones. But what I like is you've got the White Tank Mountains right there. You can see those from all across the neighborhood. In fact, this one, because of those trees in that neighborhood right there, it might be one of the hardest ones to see it from. But from the rest of the neighborhood, you can see them just fine. Great outdoor place. I mean, I grew up mountain biking and we'd have a pretty good race out there. I like it. But this backyard is done just beautifully. Okay, you got the turf. Really see the aesthetic of the home from back here. This is a good one, I like it. I also like how they have the covered patio. Having a covered patio out here really goes a long way because one, it gives you this spot right here in the shade to actually hang out in the summer when it's warmer, as well as it provides that shade for the rest of the house because it stops the sun from hitting those windows directly, which actually helps quite a bit. So this is the Dove model out here at Zen Harold by DR Horton. I'm really happy that they let me come out here. They gave me a call, let me know they had a new neighborhood. Uh, got a great relationship with these guys. So if you're interested in one of these, give me a call. I'm happy to help you out, show you around, you know, get you everything you need. You know, part of what I do is I come in, I show you what's in the area so that you make the right choice. I have great home inspectors who come through, check to make sure everything's good in tip top shape. And then I help you get new repairs, which 
One thing I like about DR Horton and most of these builders, in fact, pretty much all of them that I've ran into is after my inspector goes through, all I do is hand them the inspection report and they fix everything. Cause you know, whenever you're mass producing something, you're gonna have some mistakes. So that's one of the benefits of working with me is I make sure we find them and that you get something that you're happy with, that you can live in for a long time. And this area is just one of those up and coming areas. Lots of new jobs, lots of new industry coming out here. Just gonna really help make the prices out here continue to rise. So give me a call, I'm happy to help out. Thanks for watching.